completely humbled by their existence as naked, poverty-stricken trees. And they want to have love affairs and everything else, and they're just standing as trees. What can you do? Very difficult. But they were humbled to the point of thousands of years, that's what it took, and then they got to see Krishna. And by seeing Krishna, they surrendered. So even though they were acting like debauched rascals, Narada Muni saw the good in them and wanted to deliver them. And he did. So Narada Muni is explaining from his perspective, essentially everyone is part of Krishna. Everyone is a child of Krishna. Everyone is essentially good. But everyone, due to mistakes and wrong decisions and misuse of free will at one point or another, have gotten themselves implicated and incriminated in the laws of material nature. And some have become extremely degraded and cruel due to the process. But what makes a person like that? If we really trace back, we'll see that this person was influenced by so many energies to act in certain ways. And if we trace back, instead of hating a person, we're compassionate to a person. especially amongst devotees. Srila Prabhupada would say about devotees' relationships with each other, Prabhupada would say, you do not know who this person is. Hare Krishna. Even if they're engaged in bad activities, Yes, it's wrong. We must try to stop them. We must try to protect people from that situation. But still, we don't really know who that person may be. To the extent of Jai and Vijay, Shishupal and Dantavakra, Ravana Kumbhakarna, Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha, they engaged in the worst activities. But here Narada Muni is saying, but you don't know who they really are. If you really trace out their background, their great souls, somehow or other they just got affected by material nature and got implicated in the complications. And that's the way Prabhupada saw devotees. So we have to be, there has to be this balance. We have to protect the innocent from the misbehavior of those who have gone wrong. But it has to be balanced with understanding that this person who has gone so wrong, if we really try to trace out his past, we may find, we may we may see a very, very special soul. Just temporarily confused. That's why ultimately God is the, the real judge. In the Bible it is said, judge not lest ye be judged. So this is one important lesson from today's verse. That if you trace out why a bad person is bad, 
If you really try to go into the background of what brought a person to be like this, you will feel great compassion for that person. You will not feel hateful to that person. If you see it by the surface, you could really hate that person. Krishna always loved Shishupal. <laughs> he hated the disease, but he loved the diseased. And that's what Krishna consciousness is about. Everyone's good, but they're diseased. We should hate the disease, but we should never hate the diseased. Because the diseased person, the soul, is good. In our Vaishnav Gaudiya philosophy, there's no bad souls. Souls are good. And this lesson is a very, very important thing for us to understand. So that we can actually help to uplift people. For managers, it's a great challenge. You have to make decisions, sometimes you have to punish people. But at the same time, we have to do the needful. We have to, to protect the sanctity of, um, of our institution, of our society, of our ashrams. But at the same time, beyond that, There should be this sense of compassion. Balabhadra, I'm sorry, Kala Krishna Das. He betrayed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in South India. He was his personal servant. And he left Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the middle of the night to join some dacoits, yes, this tribe of nomads who were performing terrible deeds. He somehow or other opened himself up to their influence, got affected, and left the Lord. Very serious thing. We've all been like so many devotees Due to influences, we do the wrong things, we make the wrong choices. Have any of you ever done like that? Due to the influences of people around you, somehow or other you get bewildered and you just make the wrong choice. And it could create such havoc in your life. Well, that's what happened with Kal Krishna does. He left the service of the Lord to serve horrible people. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rescued him. But still, he had to set an example. When they returned to Puri, he didn't even talk to Kal Krishnadas. Kal Krishnadas was standing right there. And Lord Chaitanya was speaking to Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya and others. And he said that he abandoned me, he betrayed me. Therefore, he can go anywhere he wants, but I want nothing to do with him. He can no longer be with me in any way. He, ba he banished him. Lord Chaitanya rejected him. Kal Krishnadas was mortified. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had to do it because he had to set the example for others. Compassion is not just a sentiment. Real compassion is a very, very deep, subtle subject. When you're being compassionate, what's really, ultimately, the best thing for this person? And, all, and we also have to consider what's best for the whole society around. If we give a favor to a person, but we corrupt the whole society around, set the wrong example for other people to follow. 
That's not compassion. So real compassion is, is sentiment, it's the sentiment of the well-being for that person, but based on practical philosophy, what's actually best for that person. Narada Muni's compassion to Manugriva was to make them suffer as trees. Hare Krishna. And we find in Ramayana, Mahabharata, Srimad Bhagavatam, so many cases. Who was that? Vidyadhara? That he was a snake. <laughs> It was a snake that was swallowing Nanda Maharaj. And everyone was beating him with, with, with fiery logs and he just kept devouring Nanda Maharaj. And they couldn't save him. All the Brijabhasis, they were trying everything they can, but the snake just kept rawr, rawr, devouring. Nanda Maharaj was going in, 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 in. And then Krishna came and just put his lotus feet on him. Yes, and he became a demigod. He was cursed by a sage. Out of compassion. He had to take the, an, a horrible body of a snake. Hare Krishna. So compassion is not just sentiment. Compassion is really what's best for the person. And also compassion involves how we deal with a particular person. We have to set the proper example and standards for the society. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected Gau Krishna Das. Otherwise, he said, he'll set the standard that people could do these nonsense types of things and just be forgiven. And if you think you can get away with it that easy, then you won't be so strict, you won't be so determined to do the right thing. Determination is a very, very important part of our spiritual progress. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he set the standard. He rejected him. But ultimately he loved him. Nityananda Prabhu and the other devotees, with the blessings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, showered him with affection and gave him another service. Yes? By which he could be connected indirectly. And in this regard, um, one of Srila Prabhupada's godbrothers, Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj, explains he was the president of the Madras Gaudiya Mat. And one brahmachari did some horrible thing. But then he repented and came back and came to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and asked, Can I have some service? And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, No, out out from here. But then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur called the president and others and said, give him some service. <laughs> they, said, they said, how could we give him service when you rejected him? We're only your representatives. He said, no, for the sake of creating the proper standards for the society of Vaishnavas, I had to reject him. But on the side, you can indirectly give him some service because ultimately we want him to go back to Godhead. So simultaneous strictness and forgiveness, compassion, depending on the time, place, and circumstance. Because these devotees see that ultimately everyone is good. Jai, or I'm sorry, Jagai and Madhai 
were as sinful as they were in their previous births. Previously, the Lord killed them. In this birth, they were given love of God. They gave up all their sins. Because actually, Nityananda Prabhu is in the, the disciple of Madhavendra Puri, who is in the disciplic succession of Narada Muni. We are the disciplic succession of Narada Muni. Narada Muni was strict with certain, but always, it was never due to vengeance or anger. He hated the disease, but loved the diseased. And whatever decisions he made was to cure that person and all others from the disease of separateness from Krishna. So how does this relate to our lives today? 